Hello everyone, this is Tasavvur with Only Gizmos and in today's video we are going to take a look at the new iPad or the iPad 3 which is a successor of the iPad 2. So what is different between the new iPad and the iPad 2? So first of all I would like to give you a glimpse of the complete design of the new iPad we have a 64 GB new iPad which is Wi-Fi plus 4G enabled. So as you can see uh, there is hardly any design difference between the new iPad and the iPad 2. It basically looks completely the same and trust me it will be very difficult to distinguish between the iPad 3 and the iPad to even if they are placed next to each other. Speaking of the differences between the new iPad and the iPad 2, it has to be the Retina display that we need to talk about first. So the new iPad has a Retina display which has a resolution of 1536 by 2048 that is an amazing 264 pixels per inch yes that's an upgrade of more than 132 pixels that's almost doubled when it comes to the iPad 2 which had a pixel resolution of uh, 132 that is 132 pixels per inch Sadly, the screen is the only external differentiator you have between the iPad 3 and the iPad 2. Now, the other differentiators are right inside the iPad 3. Speaking of the RAM, which has been almost doubled at 1 GB compared to the 512 MB RAM on the iPad 2. Also, the new iPad has the latest A5X processor with quad-core graphics in it. As a result, uh, you have beautifully rendered but a smooth functioning games. So let us go ahead and take a look at one of the HD apps here and which is Infinity Blade. So as you can see here, the graphics are simply amazing and the game functions very smoothly without any lag. So moving on to the next differentiator between the two, that would be the new iSight camera which has been taken straight from the iPhone 4S and put into the new iPad. It is a 5 megapixel camera which gives you autofocus and shoots videos at full HD. So let's take a look at how autofocus functions on the iSight camera. So we have a small object here, as you can see, the iPad straight away focuses on the object and there is an option to manually lock on the object as well. Although this feature makes it very easy and convenient to use the iSight camera, but this camera, the iSight camera being on a tablet on the iPad, I am not really sure how easy it is to use a tablet or the iPad to shoot pictures or videos. Speaking of videos, it does take amazing full HD videos with good audio clarity. You can you'll just go ahead and see a small sample of it as well. So along with the new iPad, a lot of apps were introduced and which included important utility apps like the iPhoto and the GarageBand. So we'll just go ahead and take a look at the iPhoto app which is 
a layman's Photoshop app, but which is a very powerful and has a lot of interesting features to help you edit photographs either taken from the new iPad with the iSight camera or either taken from your digital camera. Now this is a sample photo that we had taken using the new iPad. Now let us go ahead and take a look at the options that are available for one to edit these photographs. As you can see here there is an option to crop and straighten the photograph so even if you have taken the photograph in a tilted manner or either you want to tilt your photograph you can just go ahead and do it using this very intuitive UI. So Here are another options where you can address, uh, you can quickly adjust the contrast, brightness, and adjust highlights on an image. Next, you can edit the saturation, blue skies, greenery, the RGB in a photograph, along with the saturation of the scene. And we love the next option on the iPhoto app that is brushes. You can saturate, desaturate, lighten, darken, sharpen or soften different parts of an image. You can see right here, all you have to do is just select the tool and apply it. I'm sure it's not really visible straight away. It takes a bit of time but then it works well. Now moving on to the last effect on the iPhoto app that right here which is quite Instagram skew which allows you to add a lot of filters so I'm gonna just select Aura here and add it as you can see right here iPad. so this allows you to customize each effect on the photograph and the rest are the options that you have on any editing on the editing software on the iPad or the iPhone now you to rotate and other stuff so that was the iPhoto app now moving on to the last feature which was introduced with the new iPad that's the dictation Although Siri did not make it to the new iPad as was popularly being expected by a lot of people but then still uh, people at Apple added this new feature which, the, which is the dictation feature so we are just going to try this and see how it works with the Indian or the Asian accent so let me just try this Hello, how is the weather today? So as you can see it's it says or rather it's written here that hello all music benignly. So I'm just gonna go and try once again. Let us see if it gives us any better results. Hello, full stop. How is the weather today? So as you can see it is not quite really effective or that functional with the Indian accent perhaps it could better pick up the UK, the British, the European or the US accent but then when it comes to the Indian accent it's not really that great. So this was the iPad features on the new iPad. Now moving on to the last differentiator between the new iPad and the iPad 2 is the battery which is about 11,560 mAh which is almost double of what you have on the iPad 2 and it still provides you with a backup of around 10 hours on Wi-Fi which is quite similar to what you have on the iPad 2 but it is all because you have a Retina display here on the new iPad along with the graphics processor which takes up a lot of battery juice out of the new iPad and hence it was a necessity to have a double up battery backup on the new iPad. 
the new iPad is just like the iPad 2 is available in two color shades that is the white and the black one and you can order it online and obviously visit your nearest Apple store to buy one. So this was the server with only Gizmos. Thank you so much.